Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, as much as I love the Fletchers and their whole family dynamics, I couldn't help but think why Martell isn't the one meeting with Dr. Francis. Now, I love the Fletchers. I love the Fletchers family. I love their drama and what they've showed us so far outside of Nell being messy and nosy and poking at the other cast affairs or whatever they got going on. I actually like the Fletchers, which is why I hate, I hate more now than ever that Melody made the connection to bring the Fletchers onto Love and Mary Tunsville because the Fletchers, they're too real for Love and Mary Tunsville. I can understand why Melody is still on Love and Mary Tunsville because this is her show that she created. But I think that the Fletchers could have been great for Nubian TV along with Sharnita's World because their businesses are legit. Their, ma their marriage don't seem forced. I just like their whole family dynamics. They're willing to um, show their family drama and work through their family issues instead of deflecting and hiding and stuff like that. So I really, I really hate the fact that Melody didn't save the Fletchers for her own platform because Carlos, I believe given the chance, Carlos to try to ruin their marriage and their little family bond and structure that they go on, that they got going on. But I also thought I couldn't help but wonder why is it Martel the one seeking therapy? Carlos it's like he just keep missing the mark, letting the letting the right message meet up to the right messenger. And I feel as though everything that Martel has experienced or, you know, he's shown us this season has been messy geared towards trying to hurt Melody. And so I don't understand why he's not the one seeking, seeking therapy. The whole therapy scene with Dr. Francis should have been Martel getting the whole counseling session to understand why he continues to choose violence against Melody and his kids. And I know they don't need to bring Martel therapy on TV because he needs real help, not for, you know, and, and I'm not saying that this isn't reality, that there, the whole Fletcher scene wasn't real. It's just that I know Martel need intensive therapy and I don't want it to be mistaken or him to try to use a therapy session on Love and Mary Tunsville to try to prove to the court. So I kind of get it, but still, I just feel as though Martel is the one that needs the real help. But, you know, it's like he's missed all, because he's missed all of his court ordered therapy sessions. And him meeting with Dr. Francis on the show could have started him in the right direction. But, you know, nonetheless, I did enjoy um, Melody and Nail conversation. And I don't know why Carlos keep trying to play with the people, playing the people face, trying to psych us out of seeing Melody on Love and Mary Tunsville. He's showing one episode and then skip her in the next couple episodes, trying to make it seem like Melody, uh, the episodes that Melody is in doesn't rate well with the people when we all know it's only because when people tune in, they tune in, in to see Melody and when they don't see her in an episode, then that's when they will black out the next episode or the next couple episodes 
And then those are the episodes that Carlos will put mel uh, put uh, Melody in. Trying to, it's like he's trying to psych us out, trying to play games or whatever. Trying to make it seem like, oh, Melody is not needed because she's not bringing in ratings. But anyway, Nail, the scene with M Melody and Nail, Nail was venting to Melody that her family thought she needed therapy and... And, you know, and this is why I love Melody because she didn't, she wasn't fake with Nail and she didn't say, she didn't just tell her what she thought she wanted to hear because they're friends. And she didn't say, oh, it's your choice or do you think you need therapy? If you don't think you need it, then don't do it. Melody kept it all the way 100 with Nail and she let her know that she needs to take one for the team and start going to therapy and maybe if she goes then maybe her her family will join in with her and I know we all know that Melody is a huge advocate for uh, counseling she's spoke about it many times that she's had her kids in therapy um, since she you know, walked away from her marriage. So it's, it was no big reveal that she would tell Nail that, but still just because somebody else is doing something for them, that's helping them out. Doesn't mean that they will try to push it off on somebody else. And especially like she said, with therapy being frowned upon within the black community, now most people would be like, well, I go, but if you don't think you need it, then don't worry about it. Or do you think you need it? Or, you know, maybe, um, or tell your family if they don't go, then you not going. But I'm glad that, uh, Melody was able to, uh, be a listening ear for Nell and to give her some sound advice about going to therapy, give her some suggestions. Well, maybe she should take the lead and then her family will follow, hopefully. But, and which they did. The Fletchers did join Nell in her therapy session with Dr. Francis. And I was so glad to see it was him. Uh, I was so glad that he, you know, made his return back to Love and Mary Tunsville as well. But yes, I the therapist, I don't know, but the therapist that dealt with Kiki when they was in on that Houston trip, I did not like. I, I just did not like the therapist. And I'm glad that Dr. Francis is back. Um, and I'm glad that, like I say, I just didn't like the, the therapist on that Houston trip that spoke to Kiki. I don't know, even though they said the whole cast had a therapy session, we only got a chance to see Kiki's therapy session. And so whatever, and, and it was brutal to me. But it was like with Dr. with Dr. Francis, there was no um, rehearsed scenes prior to filming. Um, and the conversation seemed raw and it seemed authentic. And I love the fact that Nell was being true to herself, cursing and all, despite Dr. Francis being right there to watch, which it, it, it to me, it helped him get some type of insight as to what the issue is and I know he can't sum it up and just uh I don't know how long their therapy session was I'm quite sure it was edited down because we only got like a fraction of it but I'm glad that they was able to get some type of insight so he can help them move forward but when Nell had uh cut Lance off and and she was like and she kept mentioning to her kids that um if they had done what she told them to do, then she would have never had to, you know, go off or speak to them like she did. And um, Lance kept saying, you cut me out. She's like, "I uh, did you hear what Dr. Francis said? She's like, I heard everything he said. I heard everything. I was actually cracking up because Nell, she, she's going to be Nell. And I'm, and I'm glad that she stayed true to who she was. I'm glad that she didn't try to put on a facade like she was this angel uh, and that she doesn't that she doesn't do anything. I'm glad that the that she was able to um, speak her truth. It's like 
Nell wouldn't even allow Dr. Francis to get a word in. But I but I understand Nell as a mother and as a wife. So I was really clapping and rooting for Nell. I'm I'm team Nell in this whole family drama about grown kids getting on their feet and getting out the way to allow their parents to enjoy themselves and for the grown kids to try to figure it out instead of just running to the parents all the time. I just, you know, um, I'm, like I say, I'm team nailed in this situation. And the fact that Chris allowed the kids to come to him instead of him saying, what your mama say, or, you know, let me talk to your mom and I get back to you. And I understand that he want to keep it from her. Um, because like Nell said, you know, her blood pressure is going up. She didn't pass her physical, but still that doesn't mean that you just, uh, that Chris should be, uh, taking the lead and just doing, um, you know, saying yes to the kids all the time, because when Nell find out what's going on, it seems like it makes things worse because the fact that they hid it from her knowing the fact and like she said she's always the one that has to make the decision decision to help them or not or you know to bail them out so for them to always run to chris i feel like chris needs to stop that or he'll be like well hold on one second let me get your mama on the line hold on one second we're gonna come to dinner tonight and we're gonna talk to your mom about it see what your mom said and i feel like including her more would um would cut down a lot of that. I just wish both the nail, the, the melody and the nail scene, uh, as well as the Fletcher's and Dr. Francis scene, I wish they could have been longer because uh, Carlos, he could have extracted the time that he took for that Marceau playing therapist to Trisha, husband Marcus. He could have took the time, uh, took away from that. He could have admitted that whole scene. But like I say, Carlos, I feel like he should have pushed that storyline on Martel um, as well. Not trying to take anything away from the, the Fletchers or anything like that. But I feel like I kept, I couldn't help but wonder why isn't this Martel storyline. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.